Hello angels, welcome back. I hope that you're okay and that you had a really blessed week. And hey to everyone that is new as well. So for those of you that are new and don't know me, my name is Ali and this is Hunter. He, um, I, him, I am currently on maternity leave um, due to this little one arriving in November time. So he is making his appearances on YouTube at the moment just to give you updates on how we are both doing. Um, so the update this week, not much has happened. Uh, we went to baby sensory, we went to baby yoga. Uh, he got his first baby yoga certificate. I do enjoy baby yoga because he, he likes to go upside down. He gets to go upside down, which is great fun for him. And you know, and it, it's very um, bonding and very close and it, it's a lovely thing to do together. So mama baby yoga, we did that. You went upside down, didn't you? And you loved it. Um, there isn't really any other news this week, it's been quite quiet. Oh, my mum and dad came over. They are they had COVID the other week. They're now COVID free. So they popped round, which was really nice. Great to see them. Um, yeah. Hunter had sleep regression. He now appears to be out of it. He slept through his first night the other day. Pops, you want to come say hi? We've got Poppy here as well. Hold on, let me get her on so you can see her. Where is she? There she is. Um, so Hunter slept through the night last night for the first time. And she's really good. Uh, 8 p.m. till 6 a.m. this morning. So I was like, oh my god, it's heaven. Heaven. After like weeks of sleep regression, we've we've gone back to sleeping again, but definitely his first full night's sleep. Poppy, don't do that, darling. Um just trying to pull up all the all the sheets. Um what else? That's it. That is it. Um reading wise, uh, May I have like two spaces left. One, two spaces left, I think. Not many. I'm only working one day a month at the moment um, because of UK law. You get dead restricted. They call it kit days, like keeping in touch days. Um, but because I'm self-employed and maternity allowance, I um, can only do like one day a month. So my next working day is the end of May. There is a couple of spaces left. Um, so if you are interested, please get in touch sooner rather than later because once they're booked, they're booked there's no... Um, leeway <laughs> and then after that the next day will be towards the end of june uh, i am going to glastonbury with this little one in june no surprises um so again please do book up when you when you are ready if you want to have a reading um because spaces are just like <coughs> limited uh, and that's our goss isn't it we haven't got anything else to say have we mate anything else you want to tell them you want to say anything He's going to smile. <laughs> he hasn't got anything else to say. Um, so that's it, guys. Have a totally blessed week. Enjoy the video. Subscribe. Stay in touch. Um, details for Instagram, Facebook, over on social media, that side of the screen, I think I put it on. Um, have a totally blessed week, my loves, and I will speak to you next week. Uh, yeah. Loves. Say loves. Loves. Ciao. Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you had a totally blessed week. Um, so this week we are doing what are their emotions for you? What are their hidden emotions for you? So we're going deep into their psyche, deep into their subconscious mind. Two decks for you to choose from, the Spacious Tarot and Orion's Animal Tarot. I wanted this for ages. Um, I wanted it before the birth of my son. Um, but then it didn't get released till afterwards, but they're so, so pretty, um, very magical energy coming from Orion's Tarot, Spacious Tarot, um, independent artist, very funky pictures, and I love these as well, they make me very happy. Okay, <laughs> all the cards make me happy, how many card decks, I don't know if you ever saw, um, but all of this is decks, so they all make me very, very happy. Those are the two decks that we are using today. So, deck number one, deck number two, think about your person, feel the energy for your person that you have, their heart, your heart's emotions, your feelings, um, and we're going to push both of your energies into these decks actually today, so what Spirit is saying. Um, so your emotions and their emotions, and we're going to get cracking. So deck number one, um, your emotions, their emotions what your person's hidden emotions are you for are, are you for are for you when the spirit talked to me um because i am cloud audience i hear them just like me and you talking it, it's really bizarre um it's good for me because i've always had it um 
a bit. It's bizarre and sometimes I get my words mixed up and sometimes I have five conversations all in one go because they are just rabbiting in my ear. And, okay, what are their feelings for deck number one? Hidden, hidden, hidden emotions. Ah, oh, who sang that? Total Eclipse of the Heart. Was it Was it Bonnie Tyler? It was a proper old one. Coming up in their emotions for you. I don't even remember the lyrics for that. It's one of those songs that when you listen to it, you know all the lyrics. Um, but when spirits just say Total Eclipse of the Heart, you're like, what, what are the lyrics to that song? So what is their emotions for deck number one? What are their emotions? Ooh, stalky, stalky, stalk. Somebody has been watching you. And with that, I'm getting... Um, I'll be watching you. Or as I'll be missing you, wasn't it, when they changed it in the end? What is that person's emotion towards? Oh, wow, deck number one. Lots of seven of ones today. Um, I know this is the, the first card that you've had, but the, the reading that I did before, um, the seven of ones kept popping out. Whee! So I just saw some OM on the floor then. Um, OM. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. Om is the old Celtic um, language, but you can read Om, like you can read tarot. Um, I thought I, I thought my Om had slipped. Okay, so that last one fell on the floor, so I I had to bend down to pick it up. Now, what is your person's emotions for you? Your person is likely to have distanced themselves from the situation at this moment in time. So you might not be in communication. You might not be yeah talking to them um they might have ghosted you they might have just took a step back or just sending a little bit of a message here and there to you um there's a light coming down on this okay so it is through this kind of separation through this downtime from the, your person that this is when they see the light and it's really interesting with the page of one uh, page of swords over here and spirit saying stalky stalky stalk and um, your person is watching what you are up to so even if they've took a step away from the situation even if you're not in contact and they are ghosting you or not talking to you they are thinking about you you are in their energy and they are definitely watching you on social media. And if you haven't got social media, it's probable that they are checking up on you through other people, um, you know, friends, if it's mutual friends, family, um, all that kind of stuff. And if even that's not happening, um, and you are perhaps online dating, your person might be looking at the tabs on you on that and saying to them, it's oh, can you just see if so-and-so is on Tinder? etc okay so definitely watching you emotion wise so they've cut the situation off at the moment but they are feeling you and, and feeling what you're up to and definitely keeping tabs on you seeing what's going on um they saw in the past that there was a future with you um at the moment they're pressing pause on it they're having a bit of a break from it all um any specific reason why they're having this break and um, intensity jealousy struggles battling of the mind wondering if this connection can go any further not making choices on it all letting this kind of walls come up unsure on what they want there's a variety of reasons for that with <laughs> coming up into your energy that is why um why this is going on now take out of what spirit have just said take those that resonate with you anything that doesn't resonate obviously that's not involving you so whatever answers came from what they just bombarded me with will be why um so there seem to be this kind of bit of jealousy going on um they with keeping tabs on you like watching your social media they are saying if you're dating anyone else if you're out like out, out outline if you're out partying um spirit saying outline with that um yeah get, yeah 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 okay so with spirit saying outline again as they're talking to me the energy comes in so fast it slips out of my mouth um the outline of what you're up to just trying to get again keep a tab on where you are what's happening um they've got fears on this that actually you would move forward from the situation with 
with them. So even though you're not 100% anywhere with them at the moment, they don't actually want you to move on. And this is why they're watching it, why they're seeing what's going on with you. There is an emotion, so there is this feeling of love, um, this heart-centered energy, but they're just being adamant at the moment, being quite stubborn that this situation isn't ready to progress right now. Um, and it's because of all those reasons that Spirit said at the start. They also want to embrace this time of being single and just enjoying themselves. Um, they like their own company. They like to do what they want without any responsibilities, um, which leaves you feeling in a bit of a dark place as well. Um, and again, perhaps it's, so it's an example, but perhaps some of them have gone on nights out and they haven't texted you and they haven't communicated with you. So you've got that energy coming up over here as they're embracing this kind of Peter Pan syndrome. I don't want to grow up really coming into their energy for you. Um, Three of Cups wandering in as well. Quite interesting that that they want, like I said, they want to enjoy this time being single, but they are still thinking about you Um, they do still care about you. They do still think, yeah, they have these emotions, have these feelings. They have it all, um, but they're just being stubborn. Where's the outcome of this going? What, what will their person do with this? Conflict and arguments. So they've got conflict and arguments. Now with that, Spirit are saying this is within their mind. Okay, so having a bit of a swords energy going on, uh, their mind energy playing tricks on them, that they want to do stuff with you, they want to reach out, they want to talk to you, um, but unsure on what to say. Unsure on what to say, so they've got their wall up and they've got their guard up. Because they've handled the situation really badly, isn't it, really? Um, they know that they've hurt you with the tower and the high priestess over here. They know that they've hurt you. They know that they've upset you. They know that they've jeopardized the relationship. Um, and Spirit's saying that it kind of takes, it's going to take a lot of strength for them to come to you with their tail between the legs and be like, you know what, I effed up. I'm sorry about that. Um, now, it's likely that it will happen. It's going to take a little bit of time um, because at the moment they, like, they still have this wall up. They still have this defense mechanism in the way that they're not quite ready for this to progress. Um, and they're feeling a bit sorry for themselves for how they've handled that. That's going to get more intense as time progresses. That intensity of um, I didn't handle the situation right is going to progress. It's going to get more and more. And through that intensity, that is where they will reach out to you and connect with you. Okay. Um, emotions wise, how they're feeling. They're feeling sorry for themselves about how they've handled it. They do care about you. Um, they're also just backing away from it all at the moment. They're not quite ready to deal with it. So you've got this avoidance emotion kind of coming off if avoidance could be classed as an emotion. Um, the uncertainty coming from that. Feelings wise, they are there, uh, but your person is kind of just playing silly buggers at the moment and distancing themselves. Good news is that it's likely that it's gonna come back into your favor, but it's just gonna take a bit of time take a bit of time the running if you are twin flames this will be your runner chaser dynamic you know um and i just got um oh who said that you're as cold as ice that sometimes they are very icy cold with you um and this is because of the running running dynamic that comes from it don't lose heart don't lose faith okay and as i'm saying that um a beautiful black crow just flew past the window I love this view over here. You can't, well, you could see it, um, but it's all nature. I don't know. You can't see it because of the house. If you go past that house, you can see that there are fields right looking onto the um, Peak District where all the Druidry comes from. I don't know if you can see that. It's um, <laughs> but the crow came flying, flying past, and this is kind of a sign of transformation, of not giving up, of allowing things to, to happen. Um, I do love crows very very strong energy that comes with them um also the morrigan um if you are into goddess um she is a goddess of death rebirth and transformation and um, so she speaks very loudly when these crows come forward my friend always calls me the crazy crow lady because they you remember the pigeon lady on mary poppins and uh, the crows follow me around well, it's the, the pigeon lady the pigeons follow me around that's deck number one. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Um, there are emotions. It's just your person is having a, a run and a paddy. That's it. All right, guys. Lots of love. Speak to you soon. Ciao. Okay, angels. Deck number two. So this is the beautiful uh, Orion's animal tarot. I haven't used them yet. 
to see what, what's in store with you with these ones. Okay. So think about your person for me. Let's do your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought process. So we want to have a look at their hidden emotions, going deep into their psyche, seeing what's going on. And the Orion's Animal Tarot are going to have their first read. So that is super exciting. What is going on with their person's emotions? What are their hidden emotions? Okay, so the noise of these cards. Did you ever, um, you know when you run your fingers down the chalkboard and that squeak? I don't like the sound of them. <laughs> Very high, high pitch on the squeaky side of things. Ooh, your cards are good there. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to stop at five. No. Yeah, I'm stopping at five. Okay. Um, normally I would do seven or eight, but Spirit are telling me to stop at five. And the reason for that is because your cards are telling you everything that you already need, you, you need to know right at this point in time. So your person's emotions for you. Well, you got really, really good cards. So for those of you that read tarot, you got the chariot, the eight of wands, the page of cups, the six of wands, and the seven of pentacles. This relationship is going through war, working, okay? It's working things through. Your person and their emotions for you, it's there. They can see the potential with you. They've got a nest. They are sitting on the nest. They are keeping their eggs warm. They are ready for this relationship to, um, to grow, to develop, to divulge. <laughs> baby's just chatting to himself in the mirror um they're ready for this relationship so much like the mothers sitting on the eggs waiting for their energy to hatch their babies to hatch your person is sitting on the connection getting ready for this connection to hatch between between the both of you this is what they want okay they have very strong feelings for you very strong heart-centered energy looking at the clear sentiments feeling those emotions that you guys are feeling for one another it's there there is a very strong pull between you both very very strong pull um and it's quite interesting that this pull isn't like a magnet in reverse it's just pulling towards each other so your person's emotions for you are very real they're letting this uh, this relationship gestate they're letting it have a bit of time as it develops and as it grows, um, but they see a very strong future of you. How beautiful is that? So gestation of this relationship, this is what they want. Chariot over here, longer term objectives being met between you both. We've got the triple goddess over here um, and also a compass. So this connection has likely had past lives. Um, the compass showing the direction that it's heading, again, period of gestation knowing what they want triple goddess being looked after by mother maiden crone something that has gone through history through past lives and um, very strong energy the mother maiden crone also speaking of where it's going but again that it's got future so you know the the young the the, the middle-aged are going into the old energy over here of you and your person very strong what they want and the compass directing it forward. You've also got the stars. Uh, stars signifying being on the right path. So movement forward. This is what they want. They want a future of you. They want this connection to work out. Um, and they have these very strong feelings. Um, there is no doubt in their mind that you are meant to be with them. How cute is that? Eight of Wands over here. Your person making movement towards you. Shooting their arrows. Happening now. Okay. So gestation is going forward. Um, they're resting on this. They're letting this, this connection hatch between you both. Um, and making moves towards you. Turtle Dove. Okay. Two Turtle Doves. Sign of love. Sign of romance. Sign of feeling. Signs of emotions. Uh, lots of birds coming into this deck. Um, I know there are other animals involved in this. In this. Um card deck but yours your cards are all birds because your last card over here is a peacock as well so lots of birds lots of freedom lots of space lots of spreading wings lots of air energy and lots of psychic connection happening with you guys okay making moves towards you it's what they want and um, page of cups an offer of love coming in they're going to give you their cup they're going to say to you here is my chalice my sparkly chalice as my guide would say here is my chalice here is my cup of love would you like to accept it of course it's down to you guys if that is what you want but the offer is there offer coming in of love and emotions um 
definitely kind of communicating through a water energy again talking about feelings talk about how they are but it's quite interesting that i saw with this water energy um you know on facebook messenger how it's blue a lot of you guys will be hearing through messenger because actually facebook um, the blue energy can signify the emotions so some of you guys are going to be hearing through that rather than through whatsapp there you go. Who knew that? Um, so emotions coming forward, talking to you about how they're feeling. Uh, definitely talking about meeting up, talking, coffees, hookups, all that kind of jazz. Uh, seeing where the connection goes with you both. Um, the fish on this as well. Um, in Druidry, the salmon is always talking about wisdom. Okay. Um, the Keridwen and Taliesin, the story of that. Um, the salmon of the stream talking about wisdom and rebirth so a rebirth of connection and wisdom energy what they've learned to feel the connection with you is what they want for the future six of wands over here beautiful beautiful peacock okay we all love a peacock don't we don't keep peacock feathers in your house though super unlucky um the one day that i had a peacock cover in my house was the day i got hit by a car the day i got run over and um, so you've got I'm going to flip this to the lucky energy because it is the whole peacock rather than just the feathers, okay? Things moving into your favour. Um, their emotions for you are very strong, very, very strong, very real energy happening with them um, and with you. You know, they, yeah, they see the light through the darkness with you and they see that you can give them a beautiful future. And also with that family as well, a lot of you guys are talking about families and white picket fences, and um, whether it's kids of your own, their kids, or, um, you know, family doesn't have to be children, it can be dogs, it can be cats, it can be all of that. Um, they see that with you, they see the connection, bonding and growing. Um, they're a little bit money, worried about money, some of them are a little bit worried about money, and that perhaps they can't provide you with the life that you want, um, so if it does come up in conversation that they're skinned, et cetera, et cetera, just make sure that you're standing by their side and say, oh, you know, don't worry, let's just sit in and we'll have a Netflix and chill, you know, all that kind of jazz will make them feel better about the situation. Um, their emotions for you are very strong, very real and very true. And this is what they want. That's step number two. Okay, if your person is head over heels in love with you. Um, and I just saw with that, just to finish the reading off, if you ever see Snow White, uh, where she's got her head down the well and then the prince comes up behind her, just had a clairvoyant image of that. Um, it's like you called out your person and the universe sent them. And that is that number two. You know, that mirror reflection, that, that beautiful uh, spiritual dynamic between you both, the rising, the bond, um, and the, the mirroring, them coming, being sent to you. And that leads to your ultimate success. The person is head over heels in love with you. Very curious to see how deck number two plays out for you all. Keep me posted. I love you all to pieces. I'll speak to you soon. Lots of blessings your way. Ciao.